On Friday, a weapons detection system was implemented at Central Hardin High School for a one-day trial. Though Hardin County Schools is not seeing an increase in weapons, officials say this is a proactive effort to ensure school safety. There's no way to keep students too safe, and so this is just another, uh, another measuring stick. The district is testing out Evolve Express. It's a sensor that uses artificial intelligence to distinguish everyday items from threats such as guns and pipe bombs. The multi-million dollar technology is popular at NFL stadiums, amusement parks, and will soon be utilized at Jefferson County Public Schools. Here's how it works. Students, staff, and visitors walk through the kiosk with all of their belongings. If a weapon is present, it alarms the system. A photo of that person is shown on a tablet connected to the system with a red box around the area of the possible weapon. A staff member will then conduct a search. And school officials say possible weapon because there are some nuisance items that the technology may confuse as a danger. So this morning we ask uh, students to take out their three ring binders and take out their Chromebooks. And, you know, when you're bringing in 1,800 students into a building, sometimes that message doesn't get heard uh, by as uh, many people as you'd like. According to the district, Friday's testing of Evolve Express resulted in an 11 percent alarm rate, but no weapons were detected. The new weapon system will also be used at Central Hardin's home football game on Friday night. And school officials say it's all a part of their mission to maintain a weapons free campus. Has something ever slipped by us and, and been in a school building that we didn't know about? I think I'd have, we all have our head in the sand to think that that hasn't happened. Uh, and it's probably happened at every school in, in America. Uh, but um, hopefully this will catch everything. From Hardin County, Alexis Matthews, WLKY News.